Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can have a status report just like this one that displays information from your Rust server directly into your Discord server. I'm gonna show you all the steps that are required to make this happen, so stay tuned and check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to hopefully show you guys some of the different things that you can do to create a better gameplay for your players or maybe just a better quality of life for your admins or moderators. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. And just like every other YouTube creator out there tells you, the best way that you can help out this channel is by liking this video and commenting down below. If you want to take it one step further, you could even share this video for me. If you think you know people that might actually take something from it. All right, that's all the business out of the way. Let's get into Discord server stats. So the plugin is actually called Discord server stats and it's written by MJSU. It's available from the UMod website. Don't worry, I'm gonna put a link to it in the video description down below. So while this plugin is incredibly lightweight, one of the reasons why it is is because it has one dependency. That one dependency is placeholder API by Mysticos. Same thing link down below. So because Discord service stats is actually going to be looking for a placeholder API, we actually want to install the dependency before we install the actual plugin. Is it going to break anything if you don't do it in that order? No, absolutely not. Just know that Discord service stats is actually going to be looking for placeholder API before it tries to do anything. So we just go into our file manager, go into our oxide, we go into our plugins. And of course, this is where we would drop in placeholder API as well as Discord service stats. So let's go ahead and do that. Placeholder API first, and then Discord service stats after that. So as we can see by our console report, it did actually install placeholder for us, which is perfect. And Discord service stats has created its configuration file, which is good, but it's not working right now because as it's telling us in the console, it's missing a webhook URL. Don't worry, we're gonna get into that in just a second. So if we go into our configuration folder and have a look at Discord service stats, configuration file this is what i'm talking about right here the plugin is waiting for this information which we need to supply it so i know this is going to be fairly small for you guys it doesn't really matter the information that i'm about to show you isn't all that important basically what i've done here is i've created a category down at the bottom of my test server called discord server stats and i'm going to create a text channel in there and we're going to call this live server stats now we have a channel called live server stats and it's inside of a category. You don't necessarily have to put it into a category, but because this is my test server, I like to keep things relatively organized because it gets a little messy at times. But all we need to have is a text channel that we can create a webhook for that we can put into our discord server stats plugin in order to give it a location to report to. So let's go into our discord server settings. Let's go into integrations. And as you can see here at the very top, normally at the very top, it might be in a different place for you. There's a create webhook button. So let's go in there and create a webhook. It doesn't really matter what you name this webhook, but just know that the name that you pick here will be displayed with the report when it shows in your Discord. So what channel do we want it to report to? Well, of course, we want it to report to the live server stats that we just created. And I'm also going to change the avatar for this particular webhook. If you're looking for that avatar that I'm using, I just grabbed this image right here from the UMod site for Discord server stats. So we've changed our avatar. We've given them a name. We know what channel it's going to report to, which is good. Let's save all these changes and while we're here let's copy this webhook url and for right now we can close that everything here looks good let's go back to our configuration file for discord server stats and right at the very top there where it's looking for this webhook url let's just post it in the webhook url that we've now copied from our discord server don't worry about the rest of the information in this configuration file i'm going to circle back to that we'll go over that in just a minute so for right now let's save this let's reload the plugin discord server stats and let's go back to our discord server and see what it's actually reporting and there we go Go. almost immediately as soon as I reloaded the plugin it immediately grabbed all of the information for discord server stats and it is now displaying it inside my test server so by default all of these different plots of information are set to display we can actually turn off parts of this information if we decide that we don't necessarily want to have it displayed but let's get rid of memory usage as well as network IO that's information that we don't necessarily need to display for everybody plus it gives me the ability to show you how to remove information so let's go back over to our configuration file for discord server stats and let's see if we can find memory all right so here we are we've got the memory usage as well as the network io and now because we've decided that we don't want to display that information this this is where we can toggle this information to false right here we'll do it for both memory usage as well as network io so the enabled toggle is set to false for both of those let's save our configuration file let's reload our plugin and let's go back and have a look at discord and see how it's changed 
And as we would expect, it's no longer showing memory usage or network IO, which is just input output. So if you decided there's more information in here that you don't want to display to the public, you can of course go through and change whatever information you don't want to show. As is with most of MJSU's plugins, they are very lightweight, they're very efficient. And because he teamed up with Mysticos with Placeholder API, we know that Placeholder API is actually doing most of the heavy lifting. There isn't very much heavy lifting, but Placeholder is doing it. And Discord Service Stats is basically just displaying the information. So two very lightweight plugins. If you decide that you want to have this information displayed on your Discord server, like I said before, all the links for these plugins are in the description down below. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up. As I'm sure most of you know, that is the quickest and easiest and freest way for you to help me out with this channel. The second way that you can help me out, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do my very best to respond to each and every one of them. Even if you just give me a wave or a hi or a heart or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just leave a comment. It helps me out a lot. Lot. Everyone is trying to do everything they can to try to get the most out of the YouTube algorithm. I got no problem telling you guys that. If you feel that this channel is a worthwhile cause and you think that this is something you want to help out, you can check me out at patreon.com slash srtbull. A couple of different packages for you to pick from. They all come with different Discord perks. You also get your name mentioned at the end of each one of my videos for as long as you're one of my patrons. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So until then, stay safe. Make sure you're taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday. Hi, I'm praying that the world changes soon. Can't get a doobie on a plane, but there's Uzis in our schools. Every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it used to be cooler to slip a bird to the sea.